Righty tighty, lefty loosey. This is getting dangerous already. Oh man, my rotor is messed up. But yeah, look how bad this thing is. I don't know if it comes out on camera. <laughs> my fingers jabbed in there. That went in really easy. You, yours might not be that easy. What's up, dirt people? Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. We got another install video for you. Uh, brake job for the ZR2s this time. These are all the tools you'll need. It's pretty easy. This is my first one. You just need jack stands for safety. Any jack will do. Impact driver, 18 millimeter socket, whatever. Um, you don't need that spray paint. The Loctite, a T30 head and i think that's it oh and some string to tie up the calibers so they don't fall also as far as bleeding the brakes go there's a couple different brake install methods what i just took the cap off the reservoir that seems to be the simplest one we didn't need a fluid swap or anything so just check the levels and don't forget to put it back on when you're done so let's get into it zr2 brake job for idiots i already did this side and I spray paint it black just because I don't have the hubcaps yet for the Innovate wheels. I'm waiting on them. So it would look gross. I know, stupid to spray paint a new rotor. I did that one first because I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is my first brake job ever. I've just never had to. Um, there's not much to them. So I'll walk you through it for the ZR2 specifically, but this will work pretty much for all cars. There's not much to it. Uh, start with taking off this. I think it's a T30. Yeah, T30. Uh, 18 millimeter impact. It barely fits, but it still works. Oh, maybe I should do righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then these, you could just slip them off. And this rotor's bad. There's a reason I started on the other side. Look, it doesn't even want to come off. It's pretty well dug in there. Oh, this should just slide off. But you'll see why it's not sliding off in a second. Look how bad they were. This is getting dangerous already. But I couldn't find the parts, stupid AutoZone. Oh man, my rotor is messed up. So you could just put this over here. You could zip tie it or put some straps or whatever. But yeah, look how bad this thing is. I don't know if it comes out on camera. You see the lip, it already started eating at the lip. So now for the rotors, um, these are some of the upgraded models, the brake pads too. I would I recommend getting if you're gonna do a brake upgrade the best low dust option they have available some of the high-end carbon ceramics whatever they're gonna get your wheels dirty they get noisy they go out fast and honestly the ZR2 doesn't need it the ZR2 stock brakes are pretty good it's what the race team uses still stock so uh, I, I don't know unless you have it super built and you can go really fast in the desert you don't need crazy brake upgrades, so stick with the low, uh, the best low dust models you can get. This just slides on. Got to line up that hole. Some Loctite. Whoops. There it goes. Oh man, what's this? It's rubbing on. I think it's just rubbing like on the debris, you know, the crap. All right, so I'm gonna take this off, off camera, clean it out and put it back on just to make sure everything's okay. And before we disassemble the pads, just for reference, this was on the driver's side. So it was getting pretty low. And the, this thing is what whistles. You see, it started eating out a piece of it. A brand new one is just like that. So you can see how it got worn down. That's why when your brakes start making noise, it lets you know that it, it's about to get to dangerous levels. So you got a little bit more, but change it. Or you'll risk ruining your rotor. And the rotors aren't cheap. So for this, what you want to do when you pull these out, all you really got to do is copy them. 
put this little guy over here and they give you lube I, I guess all the moving parts on the diagram it shows here whatever I'm not gonna do that so this is the only hardware you have to do you have to install set these here and there's no wrong way to do this if you're doing it wrong it doesn't go in so you could just kind of push them out look they're just little clips That's it. So I'm just gonna copy it and push it back in like that. Wrong way. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy it and push it in like that. And I'm gonna grease this because that channel is what this is gonna be sliding on. Actually, not certain if it goes like this or what. We'll see right now. Like I told you, there's no wrong way to do it. You either can or you can't. And to put them in, you just kind of wiggle them. They could get annoying. Just try not to bend them. You'll be okay though if you tweak it a little bit. I just get them in over those tension points. And try to push them in without cutting your finger. There we go. And see, they got little guides so you can't go too far. It kind of self-centers self-centered brakes huh there and you're good this side's good uh, this side yeah this one's kind of a pain to get out so same thing you just copy it put some grease on the moving parts this goes back in here kind of wow it got lucky push them in so they snap there we go we're good to go now you might notice your piston traveled forward a little bit i'll show you how to deal with that don't worry about it yet all right so these should go like this these rounded corners like this that's your little sensor thing just kind of wiggle them in there and get them in those channels see I see this one doesn't want to because the piston's too pushed out. But this is what I was telling you about. You could, with a little bit of force, you can push the piston back in. Okay, so this one was giving me trouble. Um, you see this part? It moves. So I lined it up to right there to where it's lined up flush with this so the pad could actually seat. And then what I was telling you guys, the piston decompresses so you're not going to fit both pads in there. So once you get it in there, kind of line it up. I know I'm still missing a pad. Push these back in. Compress the pad like this. And you should be good. Where's my... Should have done this earlier. See how fast it decompresses then put this one in and we should be pretty close there you just need a little bit and you're good and then just some Loctite on these, push them back in and you're good. Yeah, this one, I don't like that. But whatever, they, they adjust as you use the brakes, as you start moving. I don't know, maybe I should wipe some of this down, right? Whatever, I'm gonna throw the wheels back on and then I'm gonna go to the front, see what that has in store for us. All right guys, so now to the front. They're a little bit harder than the back, but not much problem. And you do need jack stands, uh, cause this is pretty sketchy. So this one sucks a little bit more just because the impact doesn't fit in here, but it fits on the top one. Ow! <sighs> 
my fingers jammed in there. Ow. Be careful. All right. Uh, yeah, this one it doesn't, and I don't have a shorter socket, so I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Probably can't get a good camera angle on it. And be careful, when I first did it, I took off these four, these two and these two down here. So it's just these two. And this is why you want stands, cause I gotta lift up like this to loosen and you could knock it off the jack. The breaker bar would be mandatory here. Wow. In case you guys didn't know, I have idiot strength. All right. Yeah, you gotta be careful. This can go kind of balanced right here. Just be careful not to put too much pressure on that line. And I would do this now. You could use channel locks. There's a bunch of different ways to compress these. On Hector's truck, when we painted his calipers, we compressed these and the seals kind of came off their rings or whatever, off the pistons. And it was kind of sketchy. So I would do it with the brake pads in it. I'm just gonna stick this in there and pry it. You could do it with the new ones, but you might chip some of the, the they're ceramic, so you might chip it. So I'd rather do it with this. Just kind of leverage it and work it back and forth, twist it, whatever you need to do. But yeah, with channel locks, you could just squeeze them here, squeeze them here, and you're good to go. All right, I find this is the best method. Put it in and rotate. You see how it's compressing? Do as much of it as you can now so you don't have to abuse the new equipment. That should be good enough or close enough. All right, once you do that, I'm just gonna tie it to the arms up here. All right, so now I'll just take this one off. Yeah, this one was in good shape. Didn't need these, but like I said, I already had them. Slap that on. All right, this part can get clumsy. Got to remove these pins. Don't lose them. And then these little bolts. So look, if you play with the pressure, they can just slip right out. If all you're doing is pads, you don't have to take the whole um, caliper off. You could do it here actually, but we're doing the whole thing. So there's gonna be differences. There's this one with the little sensor and then the more tapered one. The more tapered one goes on the part where the bolts go. It's got less clearance. The one with the sensor, see this side's wide open, goes here. These start going back in. Uh, 
this cool guy just sits on top like that and kind of goes down with pressure that went in really easy you, yours might not be that easy and just make sure these two are up here these two are up here just make sure everything's lined up and then your little pins go back in And you can just rotate them out of the way. All right, let's see if it goes back in. Please don't be stupid. Not a chance. Let's see how much we could do with our hands. Let's try it. Oh. Oh. So, <clears throat> if I really do have idiot strength. Yep, <laughs> I told you guys. So it's locked tight, and then back in the hole. There we go. Now you kind of got to wiggle it. Make sure the threads are in straight and then go for it. All right. Oh, she's ready to get put back together. And before you go testing or bedding the brake pads, don't forget that cap. All right, so I'm all done. I'm ready to start bedding the pads or whatever it's called. Uh, one of the bices that works here with us, he, he's got his little mechanic. He, he does everything to the truck. He told me to just play with the pedal a little bit. He said not all the way, but yeah. First one was really soft. And then as they see, you could feel it get harder. He said, I don't gotta go all the way down. Just do it till it's kind of consistent. Kind of like bleeding the brakes, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I got the AC on, so sorry about the noise, but first brake check, see if it's gonna work. Seemed okay there. I don't wanna find out at the stop sign if it's gonna work or not. So instructions say get it to 30 and drop it till five, break it till you get to five miles an hour. And then do it again and let it chill for 10 seconds in between. So we're just gonna guesstimate. Um, allegedly there's a stop sign here that everyone ignores. It's about 10 seconds, right? I don't know. All right, so I'm not gonna subject you guys to all of this. I'll, I'll record you on the last ones. I'll record the last ones for you guys. All right, guys, after the second pump, I didn't really notice any change anymore. I'm still doing it just because it said 30 times. I lost count already, but oh yeah, I'm going faster than 30. So I, I don't know, I'm guessing it's done. That's what they call betting the brakes. So whatever, I hope you guys learned something. Check the comments in case I did something wrong. I usually always get criticized, so. I, I kind of like it. It's just so you guys can be better informed. Um, so yeah, check the comments before doing it yourself. Hopefully you guys have a good time doing it. Good luck. It shouldn't take you longer than two, three hours. Uh, like I said, this is my first time. It's gonna be like two and a half with recording. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, like, and share all that stuff. Keep fixing your truck, keep repairing it, keep upgrading it. And of course, keep it dirty.